I decided that I wanted to join the fire service about a year ago and I tried to get on with an Atlanta fire department and I couldn't pass their PAT. And when I couldn't pass their PAT, I decided that something had to change. I wasn't, I wasn't gonna be let down because I wasn't strong enough. So I actually joined CrossFit at my gym at the lake and the person I am now compared to that girl, it's, it's amazing how much stronger I am. People aren't used to seeing women firefighters at all. We, have, we go out to breakfast every morning as a shift at eight o'clock we go to breakfast. So it was funny, the first shift, very first shift I'm here and we go to breakfast and everybody at Chick-fil-A was like, y'all got a girl with y'all today. <laughs> and I was like, oh boy. <laughs> and they all smiled and were so happy and just were, wanted to welcome me to the family. And it's seeing that um, when I'm at home, if I have my fire t-shirt on and I go out in public, like little girls will just kind of like look at me like, and then mom's telling them that I'm a firefighter that's the best thing for me. Um, I love when tiny humans get excited about seeing women firefighters and think it's so cool. When we have little kids, you know, come to the fire station and get all excited because they see a girl, it's, it's awesome. I don't like the thought that someone's going to shy away from something because they don't think that they're able to do it. As tiny as I am, I can do the same things that men twice my size can do. I may have to do it a little differently, but it is possible. Um, so I feel like women, a lot of girls my age want to be teachers or they want to be nurses. Okay, well, why wouldn't you want to do something else? I love the physical aspect of it. I like the challenge and I think that there's a lot more women out there that possibly could do it the same as I am, if not better, and possibly just shy away from it because they get scared and I just, I don't know.